all my files are free. My files can be found at gumroad.com slash yahats. That's Y-A-H-A-Z. I ended up making this into a bag for my friend Karen. Today we're going to make a forest owl. Choose the USB icon, find your file, choose the owl, press set, edit in, and then embroidery. And we're ready to start. Load your hoop. Running a placement stitch for the log so you know where to place your fabric. I chose a wood grain fabric for my log. Right now we're going to remove the hoop. We're going to trim around the wood, around the, the log, and then we're going to replace it into the back of the machine. Once we put it back in the machine, we're going to run a satin stitch around the log. Next we're going to leave the same thread in, but we're going to add a branch and some leaves. Now it's time to add some veins in the leaves and I put a lighter thread in called Nile 2211. I'm going to now add the veins in the leaves. I'm going to put a lighter color thread in there. It's Anton 2211. Put a dark brown wing on him. 2372 is the thread I used and uh, it takes quite a while to move this one. It places down an underlay so that the threads cover both vertically and horizontally.
we're going to cover the owl's body with some material. Run a placement stitch. material is a scrap from my bin. You can see where it's got a hole cut out of it. I haven't a clue where I got it. Replace the hoop and we're going to do satin stitcher all the way around it. I use dark thread again. Now it's time to cover the inside of his ears and the top of his head. I chose a medium brown thread for this. Then for the top of the head, I decided on a gold. I had a Floriani that I'd gotten from a class, and I decided to use that. I decided on a reddish colored thread, reddish brown, I guess, for the inside of the ears and the inside of the eye sockets. Since both those eye socks are uh, the same thread, I should have told the Inkscape to run them together. I don't know why it switched. Maybe I got them a little bit different colored eye sockets. I decided on beautiful gold eyes, so we're going to have a 2586. All of my thread is Robinson Anton.
Now he's going to do the pupil and the eyes, the beak and the claws. in black thread detail. When he's all done, remove it from the machine, trim all your jump stitches, and have a close look at what it is. I didn't like the little uh, area near his wings, so I took a little sharpie to the top of them uh, just to cover it the under spacing. You see how it's much darker on this one. And then we're all done.